We are now in Parakar community of Armavir region, where a non-conventional domestic wastewater treatment system was constructed within the framework of the Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program and community funding. Domestic wastewater treatment allows restoring of degraded community farmlands and protecting underground water resources. Today I am glad to mention that we have finally managed to fulfill our long cherished dream to make the first step in the process of disposal and treatment of domestic wastewater in the residential areas of Armenia. This wastewater treatment plant in Parakar community can serve a good proof of the advisability to select and adopt eco technologies, these modern solutions in wastewater treatment process for small residential areas. Parakar is one of the leading communities of the region. It has 2,500 households and developed infrastructure. Water supply is implemented by Yerevan Jewel Close Joint Stock Company. 70% of the population has 12-hour water supply and the remaining 30% receive water once every two days. 60% of the community is connected to sewerage network. This plant that was designed and built in the first phase has been recently launched and as a result of monitoring during the first three to four weeks of operation, we already have very encouraging indicators, which allow us to hope that in its normal operation mode, that is in the biological treatment process, the plant will provide all the indicators planned under the design. It means that this can serve a good example, a good prerequisite for us to replicate such types of plants or or introduce similar technology in other residential areas of Armenia that can provide good sanitary conditions of the areas and improve the living conditions of the population. The local population is mainly employed in the service sector. All of them have privatized agricultural lands, of which only 5% is cultivated. The remaining agricultural lands are not tilled and exposed to degradation from year to year. The main reason for that is pollution of irrigation water by domestic wastewater. Parakar community, which has about 10,000 residents, is connected to sewerage system. That is, it has collectors and wastewater system. However, in the past, wastewater removal was carried out and wastewater was pumped to the treatment plant of Yerevan by means of two pumps. Those pumps have not operated since the independence. The pump stations are completely destroyed and not subject to repair. Wastewater is fully filled into the village. It passes through the village, fills into the irrigation system, irrigation canals, and because of this, considerably large agricultural lands are not irrigated. That is, irrigation is not implemented. These lands degrade and remain uncultivated. Along with pollution of irrigation water, stench, unsanitary conditions exist in the village. And that was the reason that with the initiative of the mayor, as well as Parakar Foundation, it was proposed to jointly implement this project within the framework of Global Environment Facilities Small Grants Program. For many years, the irrigation canal has been almost fully filled with sediments from wastewater. The latter often flowed out the canal to adjacent areas, making foul odor and anti-sanitary condition. I have been living here for 27 years. This situation was present since the moment I came here. I have been cleaning the canal, the manholes all the time, with a shovel in my hand to clear out the water. There is no salvation. It is very unpleasant for me as a resident. This sewerage wastewater, especially when the days become warmer, this fall odor has terrible impact on people, children. Even the children are going to school through this fall odor, the wastewater. It is very unpleasant. We would like this sewerage to be treated, which is the best option again.
It is already 30 years with this situation of the sewerage. After the revolution, we have the same story every time. And this sewerage has caused damage first of all to me. All my trees have withered. Please go into the yard and see the situation there. It's terrible, horrific. All I had totally dried out. I invested so much there and everything dried out. Well, you know, it is really a disgraceful situation in the sense that we have such a lake directly adjacent to the school. And you can see yourself what is in it. And in fact, the entire wastewater of the upper part of the village is filled into the area of the village school. Of course, it continues its way to the houses downstream, which are still in the same condition. But the school, we now have about 500 pupils, and our students, teachers, parents have to face this impurity every minute. Here you can see through this place our children come to school and just near this dishonor. The critical situation seriously worried the community, head and the administration. Since, after mixing of the domestic wastewater with irrigation water, the latter was not used for irrigation purposes and about 100 hectares agricultural lands remained uncultivated. Flowing out the irrigation canal, the wastewater contaminated the cultivated lands, degraded qualitative indicators of the lands, jeopardized food safety of population. During summer, wastewater in the community environment posed a real risk for breakout of intestinal and epidemic diseases. For that reason, as early as 2010, the community head Samvel Vartanian, in partnership with Parakar Benevolent Foundation and Country Water Partnership NGO, initiated and developed a demonstrative pilot project for domestic wastewater treatment. The project implied application of a lagoon type of wastewater treatment system for the first time in Armenia, which has a broad application abroad and is relatively cost-effective. This wastewater treatment technology was adapted for Armenian condition and the treatment structure were designed by Ginge Engineering Consulting Company. It was a very pleasant surprise when in 2010 the Country Water Partnership NGO invited us to take part in the Parakar Wastewater Treatment Plan Design Project with the framework of Global Environment Facilities Small Grants Program. We accepted the invitation with pleasure and started to work. Our experts studied the land area allocated for Parakar Wastewater Treatment Plant, its sizes, area, location on the plant, and other data, such as wastewater flow, the extent of the community sewerage system, and most importantly, the purposes of wastewater use after treatment. After analyzing the received information and our data, we propose to apply biological treatment lagoon ecotechnology for Parakar which envisage wastewater treatment in two biological lagoons. Therewith, the treatment would be with artificial aeration in the first lagoon and with natural aeration in the second lagoon, where the settling process would be mainly implementing. The plant would have also certain auxiliary structures such as pump station, air blower station, air distribution system, etc. This technology allows treating the domestic wastewater to the quality required for irrigation water and using the treated wastewater for irrigation purposes. I'm very glad that we have finally reached our goal. Of course, there is still some work to do, though the main works are completed, but there are still some planting works to be implemented within the lagoon area. To be honest, when we imagined the view of the treatment plant, we imagined a beautiful green lagoon with grass on its sides. All this is still missing here, but the important thing is that the technological works are already completed. The wastewater treatment plant is constructed and the whole system is operating. It's necessary only to carry out the work related to the improvement of the surroundings, since it's planned that the entire lake should be planted, which means that we should create a favorable environment to attract birds, 
and animals. I hope that next year, this time, the passerby will see that not only the technological process is going on properly here, but also these biological wastewater treatment lagoons are consistent with and are part of nature. It's worth mentioning that all organizations taking part in the project have attached importance to this initiative and made monetary and in-kind contributions to the project. And this is probably the only project within the framework of UNDP Jeff Small Grants program where the community's monetary contribution makes about 80% of the total project budget. Since 2001, in different times, we have applied to the government of the Republic of Armenia, different non-governmental organizations, we applied to allocate funds from the state budget to restore the previously existing system. But it required a huge amount of money, even only to change the pipeline, an amount exceeding 1.5 million US dollars was required. And since 2009, we have already started to look for other possible ways to solve the problem of community wastewater disposal and treatment. In 2009, after consultation with Mr. Yeritsyan, the community association president, Mr. Mesropian, director of Ginch Company, we decided to construct biological lagoons by which it is possible to treat the wastewater of our entire community. The works started in 2010, and today we can already proudly say that we are the first in Armenia that have a treatment plant, the operation of which will make the village free from stench, from loading the irrigation canals with wastewater and as you can see our neighboring areas are not cultivated the lands have not been cultivated quite a long time because of the irrigation water being not available we used to have the best grape orchards here good pear orchards and now there is nothing left but we can already see a small green area in our neighborhood because the water is already there and the water is everything for villagers this project was funded by Parakar community and co-financed within the framework of the Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program implemented by the United Nations Development Program. In the basis of the design for this lagoon, an innovative and relatively affordable solution was laid, due to which it is possible to treat the wastewater in natural and simple conditions in the lagoon. This project is of great importance for Parakar community, because it solves a number of problems such as environmental, health and socio-economic. Thus, as a result of the project implementation, the wastewater flow into the environment, including agricultural lands, which were not developed in the past for this reason, will be excluded. Unlike the option developed under the general plan of the community, according to which the domestic wastewater of the community would be pumped to the collector of Yerevan's southwestern district and then removed to Eurasia wastewater treatment plant with preliminary estimated value of 1.5 million US dollars, this approach is rather inexpensive and more acceptable from the environmental point of view. The goal of the project is to collect, remove the community's domestic wastewater and to treat the wastewater, making its quality in conformity with the requirements for irrigation water. With this purpose, a sewerage collector with around one kilometer total length was constructed, as well as two observation chambers at the end of the collector, one of which serves for the metal screen and the other for submerged pumps. Wastewater is treated from relatively large particles by means of screen and is pumped up to 6 meter by pumps. After being pumped to 6 meter height, wastewater flows into biological treatment lagoons through distribution system. There are two treatment lagoons. In one of them, artificial aeration takes place, and in the other one, natural aeration and settling of particles, removing the treated wastewater to irrigation canals. 
The biological lagoons are earth structures with natural basement, and accordingly 3,500 and 100 cubic meters operating capacity. In order to prevent wastewater filtration, the floors and walls of the lagoons are isolated by means of water-repellent polymer membrane, with appropriate development of the walls and floor. Wastewater flow from the first lake to the second one is implemented through the collecting canal, and the flow from the second lagoon to the irrigation canals, through pipes. As I mentioned, for increasing the wastewater treatment efficiency, it was planned to carry out artificial aeration through air blowers. For this purpose, a two-story building was constructed within the plant area, in the first floor of which the air blowers are installed, while the second floor serves for the operating staff. By means of air blowers, the water is blown through polyethylene pipes to the distribution network installed at the bottom of the biological lagoon, representing perforated pipes located at certain distance from each other. I would also mention that this project was proposed to be implemented stage by stage. In the first stage, the sewerage collector, aerated and settling lagoons, air blowers building and aeration system were constructed. In the second stage, expansion of the treatment plant structures is planned. In particular, increasing the volume of the biological lagoon, construction of a sludge bed, planning of water areas for fisheries. I would like to mention one more thing, which was present at the very beginning of the plant construction project. During each meeting, the fact of existence of odor from the wastewater was highlighted as an argument. And and all our evidences or efforts to convince did not seem very impressive. And now, when the plant has started its operation, the same people who had doubts and were unbelieving in this regard now are convinced and wonder that the odor near the plant and even next to the lagoon where I am standing is absolutely missing. This is the result of the implementation of the plant's biological treatment process, that is aeration. Artificial aeration in such plants is a most important and primary task to provide the technological process. The construction works for wastewater collection and treatment facilities started in October 2010. 882 meter long, 250 millimeter polyethylene wastewater collector and 17 observation chambers were constructed. The mechanical structure of the plant were constructed. Screen pump station with two pumps installed. One is horizontal with cutting machine, submerged grinder pump, and the other is vertical, single stage, made from stainless steel, submerged, three-phase engine with automatic switching as a spare pump. Air blowing node where two air blowers of Italian production were installed, an air vent system which evenly distributes air throughout the lagoon area. First biological lagoon with 5,350 cubic meter operating capacity, which is moisture proof with aeration pipes passing through it. Sedimentation lagoon with 112 cubic meter operating capacity. Fence, a guidepost. All parties participating in the project highly appreciated the project importance. The project budget also evidences this. In spite of the fact that the project was implemented with financial support of the UNDP Jeff Small Grants Program, all project participants, including the community, Country Water Partnership, Ginge Limited, considering the importance of the project, had their monetary and in-kind contribution to the project. Thus, we got a total of 50,000 US dollars under the grant program, while our program cost was about 220,000 US dollars. The remaining are the investments, of which 80% was made by the village administration. During the project implementation, special attention was paid also to public awareness raising and formation of appropriate attitude of population towards the new wastewater treatment technology. By means of information leaflets and round tables, the community population was informed about the project goals, the implementing works and the anticipated outcomes. The population was informed also about the positive impacts of the project on the environment, health and social economic condition. During all of the public hearing meetings, the participants appreciated the project results, since this was the first attempt of applying such a technology in Armenia and the possibility of its replication in other settlements depends on the project's success. It is anticipated that the operation of the wastewater treatment facility will result in 
reduced degradation of community farmlands, prevented penetration of about 12 tons nitrogen and 6 tons phosphorus into the groundwater aquifer, expanded agricultural lands with about 7.2 hectares by production of about 10 liters per second additional irrigation water, provision of additional income for population, about 45 households will have from 700 to 1200 US dollars average annual income depending on the cultivated crop, improved food security of the population and favorable local environment, improved sanitary hygienic conditions of population, reduced epidemic hazard, improved understanding of the community population on global environmental and sustainable land management issues. The treated wastewater can be sold with lower price to be used for irrigation purpose, which will allow the poor of the community to cultivate their lands and to improve their social condition. I think that this first attempt was successful, and this is a good attempt worth attention from the side of our specialists and decision makers. This pilot project has been successfully implemented for the first time in Armenia and in the region, and it has a great potential for replication in other communities. Taking the opportunity, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all parties participating in this great project. First of all, the Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program Office, represented by Mr. Hovanes Ghazarian, the Country Water Partnership NGO staff, Parakar Community Administration, the Community Head Mr. Samvel Vartanyan, and the Community Council members. I would like to thank also the constructors, as well as our Jinch staff, who are the authors of the design. I think that through combining our efforts we were able to break the stereotype that it was impossible or very difficult to build such plants. However, we thus proved that besides the conventional wastewater treatment technologies, today it is possible to use modern, inexpensive technologies which are affordable both from construction and operation point of view. And this plant is a vivid proof of the advisability of this approach. The project outcomes have been presented widely at the national and regional levels within the framework of Global Water Partnership Network. We believe that dissemination of the experience gained from this project by the present film, as well as different networks, will contribute to the flow of knowledge and experiences. Leverage lessons learned from this successful initiative, which has a great replication and scale-up potential in other communities throughout Armenia. Knowledge sharing of this and other community-based good practices will be used as an influence mechanism for development and formulation of policy for implementation of environmental conventions and development agendas.